Researcher Romain Lacour spent a year walking the streets of Tijuana talking to business owners about extortion. He calls these regular shakedowns invisible crimes because so few victims actually report them to the authorities. The huge challenge about extortion and protection racket in Mexico is that it's, it is one of the most underreported uh, crime, less than 1%. Uh, of, of extortion cases are actually reported. But even though it starts out as an invisible crime, extortion often leads to more visible acts of violence, especially when businesses refuse to pay. If you don't, maybe I come to the shop and I start breaking glass, for example, or I start breaking goods in the shop. If you keep on being unwilling to pay, maybe I uh, burn part of the shop down. And if you keep on not being willing to pay, I might even get to the extent of killing you. Lacour believes that addressing extortion as a root cause of crime could reduce more visible and violent crimes in Tijuana. The city averages more than 2,000 homicides a year, making it one of the most dangerous cities in Mexico. But Lacour says that politicians have no incentive to actually address extortion because no one's really talking about it. Since there aren't any reliable statistics and no large public outcry, there's no political will to do anything about it. And the authorities will tell you, my constituents ask me to do something about homicide because the numbers and the figures for homicide are extremely visible. Why should I invest time, energy, money, my career, my reputation in tackling something that doesn't appear on, on the records? Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.